Test 8. In this section of the test, you will have the chance to show how well you understand spoken English. There are four parts to this section, with special directions for each part. Part 1. Directions. For each question, you will see a picture and you will hear four short statements. The statements will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speaker says. When you hear the four statements, look at the picture and choose the statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Choose the best answer, A, B, C, or D. Now listen to the four statements. You will hear A. He is on the phone. B. She is driving the car. C. She is typing on the computer. D. He is sitting next to her. Statement D best describes what you see in the picture. Therefore, you should choose answer D. One. A. The men are in uniform. B. Neither is wearing a hat. C. They are entering the car. D. They are standing by the car's rear. Two. A. She's sitting on the porch. B. She's reading on the couch. C. She's barefoot. D. She's wearing a sweatshirt. Three. A. The trombone player is playing. B. The saxophone player is wearing a dress. C. Some people are resting their instruments on their laps. D. The band conductor is visible. Four. A. They are reading books. B. They have sunglasses on their heads. C. They are wearing sandals. D. They are sitting in the same manner. Five. A. Only one is not wearing an orange helmet. B. They are in an old dilapidated house. C. The house is not finished being built. D. Some have tools. Six. A. He is looking up at the women. B. He has one hand in his pocket. C. He is bending down towards the women. D. He is holding a bottle of soda. Seven. A. The two men on the right-hand side are holding papers. B. They are all looking at the bald man. C. Two men have beverages. D. The men with the beards also have glasses. Eight. A. They are at a podium. B. One man is wearing a headdress. C. Their hands are at their sides. D. They are wearing matching robes. Nine. A. There is a fire in the fireplace. B. She is reading to children. C. Only the children are on the floor. D. The door is partially open. Ten. A. She is balancing her checkbook. B. She is having soda with her meal. C. She is spending money. D. She is grasping dollar bills. Test 8. 
Part 2 Directions In this part of the test, you will hear a question or statement spoken in English, followed by three responses, also spoken in English. The question or statement and the responses will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully. You are to choose the best response to each question or statement. Now listen to a sample question. You will hear... Why are you late? A. I hope I won't be. B. My car broke down. C. He always is. The best response is choice B. My car broke down. Therefore, you should choose B. Eleven. Who is the new telephonist? A. Yes, we need a telephonist. B. Her name is Judy Spicer. C. It's in the reception. Twelve. When was Mrs. Harris born? A. In 1969. B. Since 1970. C. In New York. Thirteen. Who can type this letter to Mr. Chen for me? A. Mr. Chen isn't in the office at the moment. B. I'll do it in a minute. C. No, it hasn't arrived in the mail. Fourteen. Why didn't you ask for help with the project? A. He wasn't any help at all. B. No thanks, I can do it. C. I thought I could handle it myself. Fifteen. Would you like to come for dinner tonight? A. It was a lovely meal. B. That would be lovely. C. I'm not very good at cooking. Sixteen. Why does he want to see the invoices? A. There's a query with the order. B. As soon as possible. C. Why are they raising their voices? Seventeen. When will Mrs. Green be free? A. Probably after 2 p.m. B. At the airport. C. No, she's married. Eighteen. How far is the office from here? A. You are going too far. B. About twenty minutes by car. C. I went on the bus. Nineteen. What do we do with the returned mail? A. Yes, the mail is collected twice a day. B. The mailman should be here soon. C. Give it to Jean to check the addresses. Twenty. Do I need to rent a car for the day? A. No, the car has broken down. B. Can't you buy one till tomorrow? C. You can use a company car. Twenty-one. What did you think of their new proposal? A. Actually, the wedding has been called off. B. It was an improvement on the last one. C. I'm not proposing anything. Twenty-two. Are you sure this product is in stock? A. It certainly was a shock. B. It's a very good product. C. I need to check with the warehouse. Twenty-three. Where are you staying in Athens? A. Just for the conference. B. 
At the Intercontinental Hotel. C. No, we will be leaving tonight. Twenty-four. What does Mr. Goodson do? A. He's an accountant. B. He does it very well. C. Yes, he is a workaholic. Twenty-five. Shall I put this file on your desk? A. I'll take it now. B. It's probably under my desk. C. It's on the shelf. Twenty-six. Is the marketing department on this floor? A. The supermarket is just down the road. B. It accidentally fell on the floor. C. It's actually on the first and second floor. Twenty-seven. Could you give me a lift to the station after the meeting? A. No, I'll take a taxi. B. It's far too heavy. C. Sorry, I can't leave the office till late. Twenty-eight. I'm surprised this play is so popular. A. I don't want to play today. B. It had really good reviews. C. It finishes at ten o'clock. Twenty-nine. How come you're back from your meeting so early? A. I didn't go. It was cancelled. B. I'll get back as soon as I can. C. It will finish at six at the latest. Thirty. Who will unload these boxes? A. The people from the warehouse. B. That's the best place to put them. C. Load them carefully. Thirty-one. Can you take this international call, Mr. Kershwin? A. It's too far for me to take it. B. When did you call me? C. I'm sorry, I'm on the other line. Thirty-two. We need the order as soon as possible, please. A. Don't order them around. B. It will be sent immediately. C. Why don't you send it now? Thirty-three. Is the itinerary prepared? A. He's prepared for anything. B. No, it's broken. C. Yes, but the manager needs to look it over. Thirty-four. How can I get the money back for my expenses? A. Ask in the accounts department. B. When he went to the bank. C. I don't think it was expensive. Thirty-five. How about a coffee when we finish? A. Good idea. B. Milk and two sugars, please. C. About twenty minutes more, I think. Thirty-six. Should they put the desk by the window or by the door? A. Yes, please shut the door. B. That's the best option. C. It's best by the window. Thirty-seven. I'm afraid we are completely booked for that night. A. Can you recommend another hotel? B. I'll return the books as soon as possible. C. What time will you reopen? Thirty-eight. 
Would you like us to visit the plant while we're in the area? A. We won't have time to do any gardening. B. If it is too far away. C. That would be very useful. Thirty-nine. I'm sorry to have to leave in the middle of the project. A. Yes, she was very sorry. B. It can't be helped. C. He left half an hour ago. Forty. I'm hoping to get a promotion this week. A. I heard they have some bargains at the moment. B. The advertising for it was really good. C. Well, don't get your hopes up. Test 8. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response for each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 41 through 43 Refer to this conversation. Did you see Barry's holiday photos? They were out of this world. It must be that new camera that inspired him. He usually takes very boring shots. I have seen them, actually, and I don't understand what all the fuss is about. Anyone can take good pictures in such a wonderful place. I don't see how you could do otherwise with those dramatic mountains. There's nothing very original about them, seeing as he's just done a photography course. Well, that's typical of you, because you know you couldn't take photos as good as that, and it annoys you that Barry can. 41. What does the woman think of Barry's photos? Forty-two. What does the man think? Forty-three. What does the woman think about the man's reaction? Questions 44 through 46 refer to this conversation. I don't suppose you can work this weekend, can you, Debbie? We really need to get the Blackwood order finished before Monday morning, as they are desperate for their order before the holiday. I can work till four, but then I have to pick up my son from football practice, as my husband is away at a conference this weekend. I can come in early if you like. That's perfect, as Bob is coming in early, too. There will be a bonus payment for you both, as I really appreciate your loyalty. Right. Lunch is on me, then. What shall I bring you from the sandwich bar? 44. Why do they need to work on Saturday? 45. What will the woman do on Saturday? 46. What will the woman get? 47 through 49 refer to this conversation. So what did you think of Mr. Jones? Do you think he has the right personality for the job? Well, he has been a teacher for years, so he's probably very good at dealing with people, and he's into sports, so he's probably quite healthy and energetic. I'm not convinced about him. I think he'd make a better estate agent or car salesman than a PR person. He's a bit too sure of himself. Well, the director needs to have our input before he makes his decision. We need to tell him what we think before 2, as he has a committee meeting at 2.30 about the parking problems. 47. What is Mr. Jones trying to do? 48. What is the woman's criticism of Mr. Jones? 49. Who will make the final decision? 50. Questions 50 through 52 refer to this conversation. 
Hi, Jenny. Fancy seeing you here. I don't come here very often, but I deranged to have a coffee with my cousin, and I needed to use the photocopier. Don't you have one in your office? Yes, but it's broken again. What have you been reading then? Oh, these aren't mine. Jeremy borrowed them, but they were due back today, and I'm returning them for him so that he doesn't get a fine. Children, nothing but problems, aren't they? I'll be glad when mine have grown up. Me too. But then we'll be like Sally, complaining that the house is quiet because the children have left home. 50. What is true of the situation? Fifty one. Where are they? Fifty two. What is true about the speakers? Questions fifty three through fifty five refer to this conversation. It looks beautiful. The balcony is huge, isn't it? Are the views good? Fantastic. We plan to plant lemon, orange, and olive trees in the garden. How could you afford it? Did you win the lottery or get a promotion? No, I inherited some money from my father, and rather than sell our house to buy a bigger one, we decided to buy this house for the summers. Even if I saved for years, I couldn't afford a place like that. You can stay at ours whenever you like. You don't need to pay us, as it's good to have people in the house when we can't be there. Wow, thanks. 53. What has the man done? 54. How could the man afford the house? 55. What will the woman do? 56 through 58 refer to this conversation. Why don't we try out the new cafe that has been built where the cinema used to be? We could go straight after work today. Is that the one next to the bank? No, at the entrance to the park. Oh, yes, I know where you mean. Facing the bakers. It doesn't have a very good reputation. It's only been open two weeks. My brother George said it was overpriced, although the food was quite good. George is mean, though, and always complains about the cost of everything, even though he earns more than we do. Why don't you see if your husband wants to join us for a drink after our meeting with the boss? 56. Where is the cafe? 57. What does George seem to be like? 58. What is the relationship between the speakers? Questions 59 through 61 refer to this conversation. Did you watch the James Bond film yesterday? No, I was studying for my accountancy exams next month. I get hardly any time to myself these days. I'm exhausted all the time, and I never go out with my friends. Why don't you come to my place for a meal? I'll invite some friends and you can catch up with everyone. Okay, I'll bring something sweet and play you my new DVD. It's got some great songs on it. 59. What is the man's situation? 60. What can be said about the woman? 61. What will the man do? 62 through 64 refer to this conversation. Have you got everything that you need for the conference? You don't want a repeat of what happened last time when you went off without your laptop. Have you got your passport and your credit cards? Yes, yes, stop fussing. Now I will probably arrive late in the afternoon, but then we will be straight into a meeting so I won't be able to get in touch till last thing. So don't worry if you don't hear from me till late. I don't mind how late it is, dear, as long as you phone. Don't get too involved with all your friends and colleagues and forget. 62. What didn't the man have at the last conference? 
63. When will the man phone? 64. What is the relationship between the speakers? 65 through 67 refer to this conversation. What seems to be the problem? I think my computer has crashed. It's completely dead. And since I only bought it two weeks ago, I'm very disappointed. Let's see if I can talk you through it. It's always a bit difficult when you don't actually have the computer in front of you. Is there anything on the monitor at all? No, I told you, it's dead. I've tried pressing all the buttons and clicking the mouse. You don't have a power cut in your area, do you? Oh, wait a minute. It's not plugged into the wall. Sorry. It's an easy mistake to make, madam. 65. Where is the man? 66. What was the problem? 67. How does the man react? 68 through 70 refer to this conversation. Hi, Susan. I'm afraid that I'm a bit under the weather today, so I won't be coming into the office. Okay, Ben, don't worry. The meeting has been canceled this morning anyway, because too many people are on holiday. We'll sort out a day for next week to hold it. Don't book it for Thursday, as I'm going to the dentist in the morning. Okay. I'll try to finish your Jameson project if I get time. Thanks, Susan. I owe you one. 68. What is wrong with Ben? 69. What will happen about the meeting? 70. What will the man do? 8. Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following announcement. Attention all passengers. The Chicago Express, leaving from Platform 3, has been delayed due to ice on the tracks. It will now be leaving from Platform 6 at 11.45. All passengers for Boston should make their way to Platform 8 as this train will be leaving in 15 minutes at 11.30. Passengers are reminded that this is the slow train to Boston, as the Boston Express left 10 minutes ago. Passengers are reminded that they should keep their bags with them at all times, as unattended bags will be seen as a security risk and may be destroyed. If you lose a bag, please report to the Lost Property Office, which is situated between the ticket office and the cafe. 71. What is the situation with the Chicago train? 72. What is the time now? 73. What should you do if you lose a bag? 74 through 76 refer to the following report. Women who smoke are 30% more likely to develop breast cancer than non-smokers, say scientists. A study of over 116,000 teachers in California contradicts British research last year, which concluded smoking had no effect on the risk of the disease. In the latest study, it was found that women who smoked for many years or had 20 or more cigarettes per day were at higher risk. 
Dr. Peggy Cans, who led the team, said that the saddest thing is that this cause of cancer is self-inflicted, and it is time that women took action to protect their health. 74. What was discovered in the American study? Seventy-five. What does Dr. Cans believe? Seventy-six. What is the general point of this report? Questions seventy-seven through seventy-nine refer to the following commercial. Have a relaxing weekend at Pelham House. We cater for weddings, anniversary, and birthday parties, as well as conferences. Overnight guests have full use of all hotel facilities, including the gym, pool, and sauna. The restaurant offers freshly made food all day until 10 in the evening, when you can retire for a cocktail in the beautiful rooftop bar, which is open from 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. 77. What is not mentioned as an event that the hotel caters for? 78. Who can use the swimming pool? 79. When can you get a full meal? 80. Through 82 refer to the following talk. If you want to take control of who you are, memorize George Eliot's words. It is never too late to be what you might have been. Then you'll learn to stay open to new opportunities and keep yourself young. You need to feel excited about your life, yourself, and what lies ahead. Never mind how tired and cynical you sometimes feel. Everyone needs to take a good look at themselves now and then, just to check they're still happy with who they are. Your new direction may be triggered by an illness or a divorce, but it may just be that your life needs a change. Accept your past, don't deny it. Don't get stuck with old regrets. Making peace with the past stops it clouding your present or dictating your future. 80. What does the speaker think people need to do to be happy? 81. What should people do? 82. What does the speaker say about the past? 83-85 Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following message. Thank you for calling Black's Home Care Services. We deal with all electrical and plumbing supplies and repairs. If you have an inquiry about our repair service, press 1. If you need to ask about a delivery, press 2. For any other service, press 3. If you aren't sure which department you need, please hold the line. We would also like to draw your attention to this month's special offer, which is a 25% discount on electrical goods which follows last month's discount on DVD players. But hurry, as this offer runs out at 6 p.m. on Friday. 83. What can Black's home care services probably not help you with? 84. What should you do if you didn't receive a product? 85. What is true about this month's special offer? 86 through 88 refer to the following report. Millions of holidaymakers seeking for a little sunshine are risking their lives in swimming pools which contain bacteria, it is claimed. Many pools abroad, especially those for children, are little better than toilets. The group's experts failed three out of four pools they tested and condemned one in four as a serious health hazard. 
the association accuses the owners of hotel and apartment blocks from across Europe of failing to ensure the pools are properly filtered, cleaned, and disinfected. 86. What is the danger to holiday makers? Eighty seven. What is causing the problem? Eighty eight. What did the experts find? Questions eighty nine through ninety one refer to the following announcement. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. We have now reached a height of 35,000 feet and are currently flying over Milan. You should enjoy some good views of Rome fairly soon. Our estimated time of arrival in Athens is 11.30. That's about one and a half hours from now. As we have had some turbulence when flying over the Alps, I'm afraid you will have to keep your seat belts on for a little while longer, but we expect this to clear up within the next ten minutes. The cabin crew will soon be coming around with drinks, so sit back and enjoy the rest of your flight. 89. Which meal was probably served on this flight? 90. Where is the plane going to? 91. What is expected to happen in about 10 minutes time? 92. Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following report. Home workers who use a computer are as much at risk from repetitive strain injury as someone working in an office. Wrist and shoulder pain, as well as eye strain and headaches, are all common complaints highlighted in a survey of home computer users. A simple routine of looking up, stretching, and moving away from your PC can help to avoid some of these problems, but the way your workstation is set up makes a difference too. Check your screen is at the right height the lighting is adequate, and that you're sitting with your neck and back straight. 92. Who is this report aimed at? 93. Which is not mentioned as a possible health problem? 94. What can you do? 95 through 97 refer to the following announcement. Would Mr. George Brown please report to check-in number 8 as there is a problem with one of your suitcases which is split open. Unfortunately, it cannot go into the cargo hold in this condition and you will need to purchase a replacement suitcase if you wish to board this flight. Please come immediately to avoid any delays. Thank you. 95. Where is this announcement being made? 96. What has happened to Mr. Brown? 97. What will Mr. Brown probably do? 98. Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following lecture. From about 9000 BC, the noble art of buying and selling began with cattle as its universal currency, soon to be joined by wheat and other crops. Then came lambs in Egypt, leather in Rome, sugar in the West Indies, and tin in England and Wales. When Julius Caesar's troops invaded Britain, they found the natives trading in ring money first on the finger, and then in the pocket. Six centuries before Caesar's invasion, however, in a part of Turkey, the first ever coin users are known to have existed. They used discs made from gold and silver with a design on one side. 98. What is this lecture about? 99. What form of payment is first mentioned? 
One hundred. Where was money in its modern form first used? That is the end of the test.